Both of these teams have had their hurdles. They've been known as the comeback kings over the last few days, but only one. And up for passive play here. Sweden just feeling out their opponents. And Jim Gottfried's in with the first shot is wide to the left. Down the other end. With Melvin Richardson waiting on the left-hand side. He's not needed, though, as Yanis Len, as has happened so often in this championship, gets the first shot for France in attack, and he always delivers, and that's why he's starting for this team. Sweden are going to have to be confident in their long-range shooting, which means that man, when she crashes it off the crossbar, oh, God, not a bad idea whatsoever, but are they going to be punished down the other end? That shot takes a deflection, saved the first time, rebound picked up by Ludovic Fabregas, and that gives France a 2-0 lead. Goes to the right and try the luck this time. Osberger cuts in. The space this time for Jim Gottfriedsen and Manson Girard got a tough minute on the clock. 2 1. Mem to Richardson. Hugo Desca trying his luck this time. And Sweden struggling here to contain. Osberger got again. A bit of space for him. Plays it into the line but spills out of the hands of Bergendahl. And away goes Nikola Karabadic taking the ball over the halfway line. Looks for the outlet pass into the line to Fabregas. 4 1. Well, this is a dream start for France right here. A lot more than he'd usually like to. More of an assist giver, but that pass no good. Out of the reach of Gottfriedson. And away goes Dika Mam looking to go alone. Dika Mam. As soon as he crossed that halfway line, had a look up and saw, yep, this is for me. At their attack first. Prince helping out in the backcourt before he goes in. Carlsberg, oh, there you go. Karabadic in the left back position. And Mem currently in the centre. Richardson into Karabadic. Well, that was a, a bit poor, I'm going to be honest, with Sweden there. They allowed Karabadic to. Rosbergard again, this time crashes off the crossbar. I feel like that's the way for Sweden to get back into this one. They'll have to grow some confidence in defence. Desca, no angle there. And Rost, Gottfriedsen going through alone. That's going to be a penalty and a two-minute suspension. Put away by Lucas Pellas. First contribution in the game for Lucas Pellas. Comes to whatever the situation is given. Ball given to Mam. Good defending out on top. Ball behind the back. Into Richardson. Melvin Richardson. Leaves Palika stranded. And that feels like an important goal for him as well. He hasn't had the most confidence in this championship so far. All across to Gottfriedsen. There's the breakthrough and the first goal of the day for Alvin Lagergren. Pick up and come into the game. Ball across to Karabadic, tries to find the line, but it's cut out, picked up again by Karabadic. And it comes off his foot, done it well. Ball across, and looked like there was going to be an attacker foul call for a moment. There was a heavy challenge on the back, and he'll be well used to the style of opposition, that's for sure. Gottfriedsen finds a way through the centre of the defence, and he's really enjoying these 6 3 5 situations. Second goal of the day for Jim Gottfriedsen on Sweden. Back to Richardson. Up to Nahi on the wing, and that's a good save by Palika. Closed the gap well as an empty net to shoot into. Oh, he got a touch to it, Vanson Gerard, but not enough to keep it out. And it's a goal for Andreas Palika. First of all, so Sweden stepping out in defense as well. Nice ball into Nahi, and that's a penalty. That was a good move inside, and not for the first time. Melvin Richardson steps up to take this penalty and he fires it past Palika. 8 6. Palika, the defense doing the business, as you can see right there with here in the first quarter. Palika with another save and a counter attack opportunity. Cross court pass, it's a great fast break and it's off the crossbar. There's the shooting efficiency in France so far, much the better. And it's a Easy, easy finish in the end for Dika Mam. Nice movement on the left-hand side of the French defense. Goffredson. Persson. Oh, good finish. Linus Persson. Not much of an over-eager coming out, and that gave him the chance to fire it over his head. His first goal of the game. And that's going to be a suspension. Guilty party is Carl Valenius. I think. 
Yeah. Here comes Mem into the center. Looking in feisty form at the beginning here. Ball behind the back. It's a bit over a lot. Charles Bogart tries to break through. Ball behind the back into the line. Great pass, but a terrible. Ball across to Richardson. He's trying to find the wing, but there's nobody there. He, the ball wasn't even in his hands. And a chance now for Sweden to break. Vincent Girard. The big... Welcome to the game, Vincent. Down the other end. Hugo Descar makes no mistake. And that's two really good opportunities. On... Gottfriedsen into the center again. Oh, nice spin by Linus Paris, and that's going to be a two minute suspension. And it's rare that Nikola Karabadic gets caught out like that, he said. He didn't have too much of a decision to make after that injury to Lagergren. Oh, great pass into the line, have to finish it, and he does finish it. Max Dari. Glorious pass by Jim Gottfriedsen. Inside this time. Ball behind the back to nobody. There's an empty net to shoot into again for Andreas Palika, and he's happy. The weighted perfectly. Doesn't need to go straight in. Brings it off to Mem. And it's saved again. There's another empty net to shoot into. Can he get number three? Andreas Palika. He can indeed. And Sweden are level. Now he's a top scorer on his own with three goals. And it looks like you can put him on the line and attack the way he looks right now. Richardson now on the right hand side tries to find the wing, but he gives it away. Tries to beat his man. Shot behind the back, and it's a goal. Jonathan Korsborgård. Second goal of the. Port. Richardson. All right to the wing. Deska gives his man the spin and finds the bottom right hand corner. That's a great move. Taking on the defender, Hugo Deska. And there is a change now on the left wing for Sweden. And in the left back position. And it's a. Tries to give his man the spin just before the shot comes in. He gets the penalty and the two minute suspension, so a double punishment there. Grodeska faces Andreas Pelika. Grodeska puts it away. Meanwhile, Linus Pera. He goes again. This time he breaks through alone and earns the penalty. And Lucas Pellas, he scored one already against Vincent Girard. Richardson, Port, looks for the line, then goes alone, somehow creates some space for him. And it's up for passive play, movement on the line there, ball out to the wing for Lucas Pellas, great angle in the end, just opened up a bit too much space, and Lucas Pellas makes it three from three, that's his first one. Before he took the shot in case he didn't score it. Ball into the line, Tornay gets a spin, a penalty. Continue his heroics from the main round against Hugo Desca. Oh, comes crashing off the post. Don't think he got a touch to it, but it counts all the same for a goalkeeper. He is brought into the center now. Got a bit of space, lays it off to Lagergren. That's a great breakthrough, really good play. But Gottfriedsen going straight direct that goal. I mean, it was very difficult to stop. Almost a rugby-like move. Andreas Palika, joint top scorer for the Swedes on three. 20 seconds left in the half. Karabatic drifts out to the right, looks to help out, out to the wing, not a great angle, and it's saved by Liam Gottfriedsen! And that'll do it for the first half, the Liam Gottfriedsen show! And Sweden! After performance by that man, and also a repeat performance to give France an opportunity. This entire second half in defence without getting a two-minute suspension, it'll be a heroic performance shot from Konku. The line. In the center of the attack and Valinius some um, slipped over in the end. Oh, it's a great penalty. Lucas Pellas with a sub back out to me. Nikola Karabadic goes low. Palika spoke about that pre-game as well. That's a great ball out to Lucas Pellas. And if they can score this with a spin incisive pass through the defense, skipping over to the left wing and fine against Germany. We saw while we're seeing the same attempt out to the wing. This to go down the left hand side. Nice ball across, back into the path of Emmerich Beam. That's a good save. It picked up on the line, dropped up. Yes, Andreas Palika, great save onto the crossbar. Bergendahl probably could and should have done better there. Not really getting. Oh, as soon as they say that, he does that. Well, come Pass through the legs and a great spin. Good finish as well. And Emmerich Beam for the Swedes. Lagergren. 
Puts in try side, tries to find the line, and it's all wide to the right. Mean into the line. The referee say no foul committed, and a fast break opportunity. Ball over the top to Lucas Palas. Did well to control it, but that's a good. That's almost given away there by Dika Man. Not having the greatest game. That's nice play into the line for France. Not exactly the same case here, but not far off it. Taking his chance well. Ball into the line to Nahi. He shoots wide once already. Johansson creeps forward to face Deska. He fakes it once, twice, and places it past him. Left-hand side of the goal. Goal number six for Deska. Andreas Paluka, I think he's getting a bit too involved. Makes his way slowly back, and he has to get... Denmark could not. So far, both teams producing here, but a Sweden with a minor advantage and a chance now to make it a three-goal game. And it's put away on the... A good defence in the centre there. And he's broken through immediately. Renan looking to pounce. Bellinius goes through alone, though. And Bergendahl holding the fort for Sweden. Mean out to Karabadic, out to the wing. Dylan Nahi, good finish. France going to the wings more often. Both sides equally as efficient. Ball across to Bellinius again. This time for the near post. Carl Bellinius with three goals in very quick succession. Four overall for him. Mean, oh, so good. In at the right back position as well. Gottfried Sand, well, he's uh, been biding his time in the second half. A few big saves as France came back into the contest. Can he do it again today? Ball out to Konku on the right wing. Good finish. Out of the attack and out of France's momentum. Oh, nice finish. Squeeze through the legs of the keeper. Amerik Mean, the other end. Gottfried's in, tries to find a way through, and he does, wow. Top goal scorer in this match now with seven goals. Ball into the line is brilliant. 12 minutes, Charles Bagard out to Gottfried's in, and there's a save for Vincent Girard. Again, to face Vincent Girard. Pelas, oh, knocks that one in off the left post. Three goal lead, six goal. Tona on the wraparound, mean. What can he produce here? Lays it off to Mem, who really needs to get some shooting in. Well, he earns a pen. Two from three from the penalty line. What can he do here? Takes it once. And sends it to the bottom corner. That's working a treat for him. Make that incredibly high from both teams in this second half. 80 to 85. It's all about the goal scoring, and it continues. Trying to get into full voice, but mostly just nervous as another shot is a for France, 8% in the second half, and it doesn't get any better. Good finish with a tight angle. And with his fourth Mean. Karabatic, that's a good breakthrough, and it's saved again. Peter Johannesson, well, just as soon as I say that. Bellinius, or score a goal, not do that. Very even in that regard. Mem, lays it into the line, that's a good finish. Little one-two between them. France looking to pounce in defense, but that's going to create some space here for him. Gottfried said, and he literally already had there. We just, I'm going to throw this as hard as I can. It's going to go in. Mean. Another one. Cross regard. And that's again. Goes Dylan Nahi down the left-hand side. Tries to spin it past the keeper and succeeds. Looks like he was looking for the two-minute suspension as well. Court. In number two on the right-hand side in defense. Godfrey's in back to Carlsberg. Oh, and he squeezed. Mem back out to Mean again. Great movement, and he earns a penalty. Hey. Can he add another one here? Crucial moment for both sides. And it's a goal for Depp. Really is head and hands moment. Almost every... And he moves back outside again. Chance here on the right-hand side. There's a save for Vincent Girard. For Vincent Girard. And Mean again, Hamerick Mean, wow. Waiting for the pass back out again, looking for the wing, but nobody's there. A little bit of resignation on his face, actually. And yeah, that's why the right by to clarify with the table. And they decide that it's going to be a red card for Valentin Port. See it. Gottfriedsen, Carl's Bajord out to the wing. Pelas over the head of the keeper. Mean again, nobody else wants to shoot, but Mean, and he goes down heavily there. Checking this one out, let's see what we can see. Oh, it looks like it. I don't know how the referees are. And it's a two-minute moment. 
Playing 6v6, or 6v5 rather, in attack. Ball out to the left wing. Dylan Nahi, he finds a way past. Still just over 10 seconds left on the advantage here in the attack, and it's you. Two goal game, ball into the line. He hasn't missed all day, but he missed. What a performance, nine goals from 10 shots. Six assists, count. Hand is up for passive play, and it's spilled, and a chance now for France to break. Ball across to the left-hand side, Emmerich Mean! One goal gift to Pelas. Pelas goes the long way round, and it's given to France. And a chance for them to break now. Dikamem looking to equalise. Ludovic Fabria saved! Oh, and it's two seconds left. One second left. The game is over. Sweden, Andreas Bolike, Jim Gottfriedsen, go.